Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us try to see how to use the properties of determinants to find the find the inverse, the determinant of an inverse matrix. Okay. In here, one of the properties of one of the properties of determinants is telling us that if let me write that property down, if A is an invertible matrix, then then the determinant of that determinant of inverse of that matrix is going to be 1 over the determinant of the matrix A. This is the property. This is the property. And uh, let us take an example and then prove this. Let's say we have matrix A and the elements of this matrix A are as follows. 2, 0, 5 and then 4, negative 1, 6, and then 3, 2, 1. If this is the matrix we have, we want to find we want to find the determinant of the inverse of this matrix. Okay, so that is the question we have. And to do that, let us do the following things. Step number one. Step number one. And then in here, First, we will find the determinant of the given matrix. And how do we do that? We write the elements down. The elements are 2, 0, 5 in the first row, 4, negative 1, 6 in the second row, and 3, 2, 1 in the third row. And we want to now, to find the de determinant, we're going to expand them. And then here, for convenience sake, we will travel along the first row. And according to our sign convention, the first element will have a positive sign, the second element will take on a negative sign, the third element will take on a positive sign. Therefore, the determinant we can start to write as follows. We can start to write as follows. The determinant we can start to write as 2, the minor of that, that is going to be negative 1, 6, 2 and 1, and the second element is negative 0 times we could have just struck it off because 0 times any uh, number is going to be 0, but let me write that and then strike it out. 0 times 4, 6, 3, and 1, like that. And then plus 5 times the minor of that, which, is, which will be 4, negative 1, 3, and 2. So now we can come and expand this one out. This is going to be 2 times, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 minus 2 times 6 is 12 minus 0 times 4 times 1 is 4 minus 3 times 6 is 18 since 0 times any number is going to go to 0 so therefore that value will be 0 plus 5 times 4 times 2 is 8 minus 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 right? So we got all the all the elements down and now it is a matter of just simplifying some more. This is going to be 2 times negative 1 plus negative 12 is negative 13. Then plus 0 will uh, 0 so we don't need to write that. Plus 5 times 8 plus 3 is 11. Therefore when we simplify this some more, 2 times negative 13 is negative 26 and then 5 times 11 is going to be 55 and therefore when we simplify this some more the value is going to come out as negative 26 plus 55 is positive 29 therefore the determinant of matrix A is going to be equal to positive 29 and what we need to prove now is this that the determinant of a inverse, according to the property, it is telling us we can write this as 1 over the determinant of A and therefore we can write this as 1 over the determinant of A we've just proved uh, to be equal to 29 and therefore this is our answer. This is the way we want to be able to um, use the properties of determinants to arrive at, uh, at the solution. We can also show the determinant of uh, A inverse by using the Gauss-Jordan elimination method. 
and we have done that in my one of my previous presentations so uh, you can try it out if you don't if you do not you can uh, you can send me uh, send me a message and I will be able to I'll be glad to show the procedure to you in my next presentation we shall look at some more examples to see how we can use the properties of uh, determinants.